Today we will talk about something very important about a medication called Suramin and use of Suramin in autism. Suramin is a very old medication, first used in 1916 in Germany and it's almost in the market for more than 100 years. We are use it for what we call is a sleeping sickness, that is a parasitic infection and river blindness. We always use it very carefully because it has some very serious side effects. It can damage the kidney, it can damage adrenal gland and the brain of the patient. So whenever we use Suramin, we have to be very, very cautious about its use. Uh, let's talk about Suramin use and autism. Few words about the history, when did we start using it? So first time it was used in mouse models, those mouse with autism in 2013 in San Diego. And the first clinical trial was done in 2015. So we can say Suramin was first time used in 2015. A, <clears throat> it's not FDA approved, it's not FDA cleared. There's a clinical trial going on recently right now as we are talking in three sites. They are enrolling kids, I believe, between 5 to 15 years of age or 14 years of age with autism spectrum disorder. It's a long trial for almost 30 to 35 weeks, I guess. And they are using multiple low dose IV suramin and they are observing the results of this one. So hopefully very soon we will have the results of this clinical trial. What I always tell to my patients is always be hopeful. Let's see how it goes. A, there's also something very interesting about suramin. In China, they, they are working on nasal spray suramin. They are working on getting approval for that. And then they are planning to expand to other countries, including United States. So let's see how it goes. So always, as I said earlier, be hopeful and see how it goes. And then hopefully we have something a breakthrough for autism management. Please feel free to call me for any question. Thanks. Have a good day.